So here we are in Mobile, Alabama at the Malaga Inn. We're staying here and we're gonna go out and explore Mobile. Let's do it. Yay! Yeah, that hotel, Malaga Hotel, really nice. And it's affordable, I do recommend it. But now we are going to show you guys around this Mobile Bay, Mobile River, and all the way over to the uh, USS Alabama. But before we check out Mobile, I just wanted to show you around this Malaga Hotel here. Ronald Reagan, before he became president, he stayed here. And many other high-profile people of the past used to stay at this very hotel right here. You could see just how classic this place really is with the central courtyard as the main attraction of this hotel for photographs in this garden setting. When you come to Mobile, do be sure to check out the history, which we will be doing in this travel guide. Now, if this is your first time to Island Hopper TV, consider subscribing, turning on the bell, and getting notified every time we make a new video when you subscribe. Some quick things to know about Mobile. It is a population of about 200,000 people. It is actually the oldest Mardi Gras celebration in all the South, so it's even older than the Mardi Gras, sits in Mobile Bay at the very bottom of Alabama here. It is also known for the USS Alabama, which we will be showing you in this tour. So let's keep this going. Now, for those of you who watched Forrest Gump and are curious where the plot for the movie was from, it was in Bayou Labatre out there in Southern Alabama, which is actually the seafood capital of Alabama. It's about a half hour to 45 minutes away from the Mobile, Alabama, downtown central area. So Bayou Labatre is where Forrest Gump takes place. All right, here we are on Dauphine Street. Now we're gonna walk this area. They do have bars, seafood restaurants. Mobile is known for its seafood and they have museums and parks like this one here. As you could probably already imagine, I've got quite the appetite already, so we are going to find a place now to get a bite to eat. We find the beer garden, and we go in there and get some food. Here we are walking the historic district known as Dauphine Avenue. I'm just building up a little bit more appetite and a little bit more thirst for those beers at the beer garden before we finally arrive, but don't worry, we're almost there and you'll see this coming up right here. So I got a ghost train right here, IPA, local beer, tastes just like an IPA, should, straightforward. So this here is a brie, a fried brie, it's a cheese with blueberry jam on it. And you know what that brie actually tastes like? It tastes like a cheese pizza with blueberry jam on it. And if you can imagine that taste, that's what it tastes like. And it's really good. All right, now we head back out onto the road and see what else Mobile has to offer. One of the things you must know about Mobile, Alabama weather is it can go from sunny to raining to sunny to raining just like that. We literally... Uh, you can see the drizzles coming down on me, but we were in a, what appeared to be a really quick uh, rainstorm that was only going to get worse, and then all of a sudden here comes the sun. 
If you guys really love baseball, you'll find this fact to be interesting. More professional baseball players ended up in the Hall of Fame from Mobile, Alabama than any other city other than New York City. So this place right here is a breeding ground for really good baseball players and Jimmy Buffett. All right, now that I got a nice little buzz going from them two uh, beers that I got over there, the uh, House Craft Beer, my favorite, nice and cold. Now let's go check out some history and see what else uh, we can find at the Alabama History Museum, or Mobile Alabama History Museum, which just so happens to be next to the Battle House Renaissance here in Mobile, along the Mobile Channel, near the Mobile River, in Mobile Bay. So right here is where the uh, museums are in the old historic district, but also now today the central business district. As you can see right there, the Arthur R. Outlaw Mobile Convention Center right there. As I mentioned earlier, Mobile is actually home to the original Mardi Gras in the United States. This here is an identifying mark saying that the first parade for the Mardi Gras in the United States was here in Mobile. But also, Mobile was the first capital for the French in the French Louisiana before America took over Louisiana. So, like we said, lots of history here. We're going to go inside this history museum and learn more too. So the admission to get in here was about $12, but if you're a veteran, it's $10. And uh, they do have an Egyptian exhibit on the second floor. Most of the bottom floor here is going to be the Mobile History. And it is quite the uh, history to understand about how the South uh, was developed and what was going on here way back in the 1800s. So, uh, if you are a history buff, this is a museum that you must go to because the information revealed to you in here is full of uh, perspective about how Mobile fits into the equation of America. After going inside that history museum, I do recommend it, although the history is fairly horrific. So do be aware that uh, what you may hear or read in there is going to be uh, difficult to stomach at times. Uh, just be grateful that we're living in an era now where we don't have to live in such conditions. But the establishment of this area, French colonial America and America in general, that era was a tough time to pioneer this world that we live in today. And actually the entrance fee to get into that history museum also includes access to the Colonial Fort Condi. Now, I will say one thing about those archways getting in and out of those buildings uh, and the rooms inside the fort, very short. So people back then must have been shorter than they are now. I'm only six foot two, which is, you know, a little bit tall, but I mean, I would say that in order to get through those archways, people were probably around five, six, five, eight.
So from here, we're going to go down towards the USS Alabama. In terms of walking around downtown uh, Mobile, I would say uh, I've seen more unique activities taking place here than any other place I've been in the South so far. Now, in order to get over to the USS Alabama Military History Museum, which also includes a submarine and some military aircraft, you have to go through a tunnel. And that tunnel goes underneath Mobile River. So I found that to be kind of interesting. There's no real walking across the Mobile River. The only real way to get under it or over it or through it is the tunnel. This here military history museum is only about 1.8 miles away, so it's not too far. It takes about five to 10 minutes, depending on traffic to get there from downtown Mobile. So here we are at the USS Alabama Memorial Museum. We've got the SR-71 behind me. You can see they got the Prowler, Lots of different military aircraft, submarine, and the battleship. Let's go around here and see what's up. If you, or your kids, or your wife, or anyone has ever wondered what it's like on a U.S. battleship from the mid to late 1900s, come check out this uh, USS Alabama battleship. And you can see what living conditions were like uh, below decks and what it was like above decks. All right, now that we've seen what it looks like on a battleship, let's go see what life is like on a submarine. I know some of you guys have always wondered if you could make it as a submariner. However many leagues under the sea, well, take a look. So I would like to say something about the Uber and Lyft situation and any sort of uh, taxi out here in Mobile, very, very, very difficult. Uh, we are stuck at the USS Alabama Museum here and uh, we've been trying now for about 35 to 40 minutes to get an Uber or a Lyft, both apps, no drivers. Called the taxi cab company. There's no one you can really talk to to get confirmation. And so supposedly a taxi's coming, but still waiting. No cars available. Take 
All right, so you see this silver town car? If you're in a pinch, call Howard. 251-554-1782. He'll come pick you up. Give him a call. He's also got some of the most reviews on Google, but he's a lifesaver. He's not with any franchise or anything like that. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy to be here at Winsel's Oyster House. Let's go get something to eat. Yeah, after a long day of uh, going around Mobile and checking out museums, it was about that time to get some good eats. And as you know, Mobile, Alabama is known for its seafood. And this here Winsel's Oyster House restaurant is top notch. I got the boil and boy was I happy. This one here called an Allen Gator or something like that. Local beer. Just remember, Gator. Which one you prefer? Got it. Bomber. So here at Wenzel's, I got the Seafood boil comes with corn, sausage, shrimp, potato, collard greens. My friend here, some fried okra, some catfish, fried catfish, some hush puppies, and Cajun rice. Damn, that Cajun rice looks damn good. Man, that is some fresh shrimp. Bubba gum from Kong. This here's some catfish, Alabama. Mm. <laughs> Creamy fried catfish. You know, Mobile is a town that feels like it's stuck in time. Come down here to the south, to Mobile, you feel like you're still in the 90s, except you have internet connection. Now, with that being said, the people are very down to earth. So they're very grounded, and because they're so down to earth, they're friendly. Of course, you get some wild ones, but for the most part, people down here are very friendly. So people want to know, is Mobile, Alabama safe? I would say yes. The big thing that you want to keep in mind is try not to uh, make eye contact with anyone who appears to be agitated. That's, from my experience, the best advice that I can give. Uh, I've had a couple instances where uh, if you made eye contact, some people found that to be offensive, or if you looked at them in their direction. So uh, not trying to scare you away from uh, being friendly, but sometimes if you look at people, they can take offense to that here in Mobile. I don't know why. This area here is called Cathedral Square. It's a really nice park with the cathedral behind, and if you go this way, you can see we are now on Dauphin uh, Street, Jackson. 
Let's go take a look a little bit more. do now is go to the alchemy but we're out here in front of the Sanger theater which is also a key landmark here in Mobile but let's go check out the alchemy and see what they got All right, everybody, that's going to conclude this episode of Violent Hopper TV from Mobile, Alabama. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We went all around Mobile. It's currently raining outside. In case you didn't know, Mobile is one of the rainiest places in all of the country behind Washington. So this part of the Gulf Coast here in Alabama gets a lot of rain. That's why it's so green. There are all types of different trees and like a rainforest down here. Anyways, watch some of these other videos right here. Close some links. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to Island Hopper TV.